Atkinson. He is from UK, a specialized bariatric surgeon and for the treatment of obesity and diabetes. He practices in Dubai in the American Academy of Cosmetic Surgery Hospital and in London in the London Clinic in Hyde Street. Welcome Dr. Dr. You specialized in helping people control their weight. What do you think are the main reasons behind obesity in the first place? Thank you, Hiba. Um, I think there's a big misconception about obesity. Um, it's not actually people's fault they become obese. It's really a combination of their genetics, so what they're born with, and also their environment. And if they're born not genetically suited to their environment, people will naturally become obese. So why is it so difficult for people to lose weight? So I've seen thousands of patients throughout my time as a bariatric surgeon, and they all have the same story. They've all really tried to diet, but they can't lose weight and keep it off. And the reason is that we're just, uh, the body doesn't like diets. It really gets confused and it thinks we're in a famine. And we're evolved to withstand famines very well. We're real survivors. So as soon as we go on a low calorie diet, the body responds thinking that we're in a famine situation. And it decreases our metabolic rate. It also increases our appetite and uh, decreases our satiety. So we're starving all the time, but also we're not burning off any energy. It's impossible to sustain that to lose weight. So talking about diet, what do you think of the low-fat diet? So the low-fat uh, and low-calorie diet has been a real contributor and cause of the obesity problem, I think. Um, and the reason is that fat is not the problem. The problem is carbohydrates. So we're talking about sugar, rice, pasta, potatoes, bread. They're the problem that the body is not used to. So carbohydrates cause insulin to be secreted, and insulin causes both diabetes and obesity. So doctor, if dieting is so difficult, what are the options for people to lose weight and keep fit in the future? So I have my very simple diet plan, and it is extremely simple. And it's not a diet, it's just you have to change your environment totally. Um, the first thing is dietary, so you avoid carbohydrates too much. So you avoid sugar, bread, pasta, rice, and potatoes. And you try and just eat healthy food that's not processed. The second part is to exercise more. And I'm not talking about going to the gym, I'm talking about walking more. So if you get a pedometer and you do 10,000 steps a day, and you eat healthy, your weight will definitely go down. But if you can't do that, and most people can't, bariatric surgery is the other option. And this will help you reset your weight to a much lower level, and it will force you and make you want to eat healthily. Why is bariatric surgery so popular? Okay. So I think the surgery itself is so popular for two reasons, and the first is that um, people really do find it difficult to lose weight and keep weight off. Um, and the second reason is that the surgery itself is really, really safe and people are understanding that these days. So not only is it safe, but it's really effective. And it will reset your weight from a higher level, maybe 120 kilograms, reset it to a lower level, 80, 85 kilograms, and the body is happy with that weight. And what are the different options for bariatric surgeries? So the three main surgical options, they're the gastric band, the sleep gastrectomy, and the gastric bypass. And they all have different ways of working, uh, and they all have different effects. But they're all very safe and fairly effective. And one last question. What are the risks and benefits of bariatric surgery? So the risk of surgery itself is quite low. So I would equate something like a sleep gastrectomy operation or a gastric bypass operation as being about as risky as a routine hernia operation or gallbladder operation. So pretty safe, very, very low risk. It's all about selecting the right patients. If you're a surgeon who will operate on anyone, even if they're not fit, then you're not going to get good results. If you're a surgeon that's selective and will only select patients that will do well with surgery, you'll get good results. And as far as the benefits of surgery are concerned, they're really, really life-changing. So not only will you reset your weight to a much, much lower and healthier level, but your risk of diabetes will go, your risk of blood pressure, your risk of sleep apnea and sleeping poorly, 
and risk of cholesterol, they'll all be decreased after bariatric surgery. So it's a fantastic situation. So if you're obese or diabetic and you just can't lose weight on a diet, you'll do very well from bariatric surgery. Thank you, doctor, for your time. And we really hope that this information was helpful for all of you.